afternoon, it's me, Andy, Boaty Man, back on the Broads, back in the Premier Inn at Broadens East, and looking forward to another great adventure. It's May 2023, May the 18th, Thursday. So come here straight from work, so I'm pretty shattered. I've booked a table, going to go and have something to eat at the Brewers Fair. Come back here, chill for the night, and then off to Latham's in the morning, and then it's... Boat time. New adventure. NBN meet this week, so I'm going to be there tomorrow night and Saturday all day. I'll do some vlogging there. Uh, get to meet some people, see what goes on. Enjoy your evening. I will. Can't wait for the broads. It's that time again. ta -ra. Good evening, everyone, from a lovely sunny evening in Roxham. Thursday, May the 18th, 2023. Ready for the next Boaty Man adventure. I've checked into the hotel. I've had my dinner. I took a ride down to Roxham. Having a little walk around now. Look how beautiful the weather is. And apparently it's going to be like this for most of the week. So I am well looking forward to my holiday. I've got a different boat this time. I'm at Richardson's and I've got Silver Haze. Why have I got Silver Haze? Why have I gone to Richardson's? I can't say at the moment, but if I can, I will let you all know. But all you got to know is, Boaty Man is back, and he is going to be starting his adventure tomorrow. Uh, in the morning, it's off to Latham's to get all my usual stuff, which is my bird uh, duck food, and maybe some bits and bobs. Then I'm going to pop to Tesco's near Stalham, get some all the food I need, rather, for the boat, and... Uh, Hopefully pick up the boat between 12 and 2 o'clock, head down to South House Broad, which is a good three hours, I reckon, because we've got the NBM meet this weekend. And then Sunday morning, I'm off for the week after the meet. I will get some vlogs and everything. So, from me, at Roxham, by Roxham Bridge, touchy bye, speak to you tomorrow when I get the boat. Ta-ra! Good morning, everyone. Well, it's Friday, the 19th of May. 2023. I'm here, I'm back at Latham's. Bird food. Um, I keep saying bird food. I mean ducky food. Swan food. Lots of fun. Latham's. You can't come here without going to Latham's, can you? And then uh, it's off to Tesco in Stalham, and then Richardson's to get my boat. Looking forward to it. Hope you are too. Touchy bye. Okay, it's now, uh, let me just check the time. It is half past 10 in the morning on Friday the 19th of May 2023. Just been to Latham's, as you know, went to the bridge stores, a nice cup of tea in there, very nice indeed, with a piece of apple pie. How's that, boys and girls? Um, we love apple pie, don't we? And it's a good place, that bridge, uh, bridge stores. I always recommend it. Anyway, so I'm here now on the bridge at Potterheim, as you can see. Looking at the bridge behind me, Herbert Woods is behind me over here. People who know where I am. If you don't know where I am, I'm here. Um, and that's it for now. I'm going to head up to Tesco's at Stalham, where I'm going to get some provisions for the boaty, then pick up the boat, which is Silver Haze, and then I'm going to head down to South House Broad. It's going to be about three to four hour cruise, I reckon. Um, and for the NBM meet, because we're staying there tonight and then everyone's staying there again tomorrow night. And then I'm off on Sunday for a week, cruising around the rivers. Okay, see you soon everyone. Tutty bye. Good afternoon. Right, I'm here at Richardson's. And I have told you before that uh, i got a little deal going on, which is why I'm here this uh, this year and not at Barnes but a uh, little problem straight away I go into reception can't check in till one o'clock whereas Barnes you can check in anytime and uh, I also said to the lady behind the counter that I don't need any help or any um, tuition going out on the river learning how to steer the boat because I'm a regular I'm here every year with Barnes, of course, uh, two, three times a year sometimes. And she said, well, we have to do it because it's part of our policy. I said, well, you don't have to do it because, um, you know, I can show you proof that I'm here all the time and blah, blah, blah. But uh, she wouldn't have it. So I'm very upset with uh, that particular service of Richardson's. Anyway, I'm gonna have a word with the guy when he checks me into my boat 
and tell him see what he says but uh, I didn't find that very um very customer service um, anyway that's it for now Boaty man is upset again <laughs> anyway we'll carry on here we are at Richardson's picking up a boat soon well a couple of hours hopefully and let's see what happens shall we let's see if I can get peed off again tutty bye so here I still am at Richardson's apparently you can't get in till one o'clock here are all the cars here all queuing up to get into Richardson's of course I made it at the front with this other car here and let's quickly zoom around there we are let me go into there so once we checked in I'll just go around uh, sort out my boat I had to work with one of the uh, guys about the trial run he said that I don't really need it but he said we would have to do it for policy so fair enough so I'm gonna go out no more than 15 minutes he said he said if I know what I'm doing I'll just bring straight back which I do and then uh, I'm gonna head down to Sal House Broad for the NBM meet We're sleeping there tonight and tomorrow and uh, then I'm off on Sunday on my own okay tatty bye Good afternoon everyone. Yes, it's me. I'm actually set sail now, just left Richardson's, cruising down the river, heading towards the crossroads where you go to Dillham and then across to um, Barton Broad. Heading down about three hours, three and a half hours maybe, uh, trip down to Sunhouse Broad. The weather is amazing. I cannot believe what brilliant weather I've got here. It is absolutely stunning. I'm loving it. Um, you know, when we had the rain a couple of weeks ago, it's just brilliant. Anyway, I'm gonna take something back, okay? I know I kind of put Richardson's down a little bit, but I'll take it back if you're watching anyone from Richardson's. The actual procedure for leaving and getting the boats ready is really good. You saw the queue, which we had on the cars, that was fine. Um, I can't even tell if we're recording. Yes, we are. Yeah, we had the queue of the cars. Um, and then the ladies come out either side of the queue. They take your name. Boat's always ready. You don't have to wait for your boat. It's ready. Uh, they get you about two o'clock on time. So once that was done, I drove around to the boat. They had to take me out, but they only took me out for a trial run for about 10 minutes that's all they knew what I could do they could see um, how I handled the boat I had to reverse it back into where I got the boat out no problem with that whatsoever for boaty man and um, it was all successful so loads up all the stuff gonna have to do some stuff later on um, oh I'm just laughing There's something over there I'm just someone's waving at me on another boat yeah give me a wave anyway so everything's really good at the moment I'm gonna turn around and show you what I can see from the boat. Okay, right, let me just get my camera up. It's just, actually I'm gonna change the lens and look at, see, there we are, look at that. Look at that weather. I mean, can you believe how glorious it is today when all that rain we've been having over the last few weeks, I'd say, I think this week is going to be lovely and sunny all the way. So I'll leave you just with a little bit of view of here. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Couldn't have wished for a better day. Okay. That's it for now. I might do a bit of vlogging going through Ludden Bridge. Or under it, shall I say. Um, we're going to go through Howe Hill, through the beautiful village of Ersted, and uh, get down to Sal House for the NBMB. Speak to you later, everyone. Boaty Man's having fun. Tutty bye. Well, after I'd say about three and a half, nearly four hours of cruising, I have made it to Sal House, to the home of the Norfolk Brawls Network meet. And uh, it was a really nice cruise. The weather's been lovely. Must probably got a good tan, hopefully. So we've got lots of things might be happening here. We don't know yet. Um, a few more boats are coming. I don't think it's going to be a, as big a turnout as we had last time. But as you can see, Quite a few boats here. Yeah. 
So, I shall keep you updated as to what's happening here tomorrow. Got a quiz tomorrow, might have some entertainment here like music wise. And then uh, it's cruising for the rest of the week. Yeah! Tati bye! Okay, so I've introduced myself to the crowd at uh, Cell House. And I've decided to take myself for a walk for about 19 minutes to the Fur and Feathers and have some grub there. Evening meal. Such a beautiful evening. Just look at this weather. It's gorgeous out there. So I'm going to have a, well, I'm having a nice walk now. I'm absolutely knackered already as I, uh, I'm not very fit. But then again, after this walk, I'm going to be extremely fit. And uh, I shall get a couple of pictures maybe of what I eat. I haven't eaten at the, actually at the Fur and Feathers for years, if, if anything. I can't even remember if I've ever, can't even remember if I've ever walked there. But uh, so, all going good on day one for Boaty Man at the NBN meet. It's very nice there. I'll get a few vlogs from there as well. Okay, so from an out of breath Boaty Man, walking all the way to the Fur and Feathers. Tutty bye. So here I am, made it to the Fur and Feathers. Oh, nice walk actually. Look how sunny it is. Look how nice it is. This is absolutely wonderful. Right, I think it's time to get there because I am very hungry. Well, good evening. It is a beautiful evening here at Sal House, half past nine in the evening. And just look at that. What a gorgeous evening. A bit chilly now, but no wind. Absolutely lovely. Wow. So it's come to the end of day one. Um, it's been a tiring day, as it always is when you pick up the boat. As I said, I must admit that uh, Richardson actually did have a very good um, way of getting you started. Very professional. So I was quite happy, actually, in the end. <sighs> I expect sometimes you get a bit frustrated, don't you, when you're tired and you're driven all the way there. You want to get on the boat and go off, but it worked out OK in the end. So uh, thank you, Richardson's, really. Now it's time for me to go to bed. Look at that beautiful setting behind me. It's really nice. So it's time for bed now. Day one has come to a close. I'm still at the NBM meet. I'm going to be here all day tomorrow. And then tomorrow night we've got our usual quiz and maybe a bit of music. I don't know. And then um, I'm going to be cruising off. I don't know. I might go down to Yarmouth again on Sunday. Who knows? Let's see where the adventure takes us. Anyway, I hope you've uh, enjoyed the first day's vlog. I might put it all onto one vlog or just do separate days. I don't know. Because you know my editing skills are rather naff. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it, everyone. Um, I will do a boat review eventually of this boat. Um, just to let you know what it's about. Okay. Tutty bye. Have a nice evening. And I'll leave you with another lovely view of a sail house at 9.30, May the 19th, 2023, in the evening. Good morning everyone. What a glorious day. Saturday the 20th of May 2023. My daughter's birthday as well. Just thought I'd let you know that if anyone's interested. I cannot believe there's not a cloud in sight. Sun is shining. Well it always is isn't it really. And uh, what a glorious day. I can't believe it. So a lot of tanning weather today. I'm still going to be here for the meet. I think we've got a quiz later on. Got a few things we're going to be doing. So, all in all, excellent. Boat's not bad, shower's really good on this boat. Um, I will try and do a boaty review of this and I'll release that as a separate vlog. Oh. <coughs> Love a cough again. Um, as usual, I've got my 
bird food or duck food. I keep saying bird food, don't worry. Um, we had a couple of ducks which came up and sat on the front of the boat. I just probably slept there all night, I don't know. But anyway, so I'm gonna have some breakfast soon, just had a nice cup of tea. And then uh, I'll show you around actually. Let's just get the camera up and let's just change the view. There we are, look at this. I mean, can you believe the morning here at Cell House? It is absolutely amazing. Right, people over there already up. Having their morning fags, which I don't. Top of the boat. I put some, some of this. Gave us some of this bunting stuff to put out, so I put that out. The right mess, as you can tell. And there we are. Stunning morning. It's beautiful. Okay, everybody. I'm gonna go. I'll come back a little later on. There won't be loads of vlogging today, um, but. I shall continue the vlog once I carry on on my journey. Am I there? Oh yeah, on my journey for the rest of the week after today. Have a lovely day, whatever you're doing, and I'll vlog later. Tati bye. <laughs> Good afternoon. I'm back again at Sal House Broad. It is now quarter past 12 and the flotilla of boats kind of all went away this morning. Some boats went away this morning, met up with others and they're all coming back now. You can hear the horn. Let's just turn around and you can see the boats coming in now, all with the bunting on, all with the flags on. It's a great occasion this. All the boats came out, they're all going to be mooring up here again. I mean, what a beautiful day. How many more times are we going to say that? Let's try and extend my extension. There we go. Oh, and we've got the Broads uh, Southern Comfort coming in with the tourists up in the far reaches. Let's zoom in a little bit. Have I zoomed in? I don't know if I have or not, but no, I haven't. All coming in. It's a great day, actually. it's really good. Oh, this is Bald Ambition in a really big boat. There we go. Hi, Griff, you alright? This is a lovely boat. This is Ruby. Lovely boat coming in. Just give you a little feel of what it is. If you want to join the MBN, you can, it's free. The last weekend in every month, every uh, the last weekend in May of every year, we have the beat and look at the weather. You can't believe, this is unbelievable. Look how many boats are all coming in. There's Bald Ambition, if you know all about that boat. And there's the Queen of the Broads, I think, not the Southern Comfort, it's Queen of the Broads, that one. I'll just show you a little bit of the fun that goes on at the Nimbian Breed. There's the marquee there. You're going to be in there tonight playing games, I don't know, singing, drinking, I expect. Eating cakes, everyone's brought cakes with them, whatever. So there we are, I'll leave you with that, look at that. Let's just zoom in a little bit. There we go. There's Simon again in Pipe Dreams. There's Kay Peanut in a Springer boat, Springer Retreat, the orange boaty tub, boat tub. Lovely, isn't it? <laughs> it's nice to be part of the group, even though you don't talk to half the people. <laughs> you never know. All right, I'm going to sign off now. There we are. Just zoom out again if I can. Okay, look at that. There's loads more coming in. 
and there's all the old uh, silver tops on the boat there enjoying their little day out looking thinking what the hell's going on there okay take care everyone and enjoy the meet i'll report back to you later on tati bye so it's now afternoon it is quarter past two in the afternoon everyone's here everyone's sitting down we're going to have fun and games later on but i thought i'd take a little walk up the area and uh just show you the boats but we won't do it in slow motion we won't do it in ordinary we're going to speed it up a little bit enjoy Good morning, day number three, Sunday, May the 21st, 2023. Here's my beautiful sweatshirt, look at this. I like that. So, today's plans. In a couple of hours, I think we've all got to start leaving here um, and open the cell house up to the public. Um, I'm gonna help pack up the marquee. I entered a quiz last night. I think I must, I think I heard chair, yeah, came last. And um, I'm gonna head down to Yarmouth. So I'm going to film little bits of bobs going down to Yarmouth and as you can see the weather's not too bad today again, blue sky, not as windy as it has been, it's been quite windy the last couple of days but it's still been very warm, the evenings have been chilly so I'll be doing that today. So hope you're enjoying the vlog so far, now the rest of the week becomes do whatever you want Andy time, okay, ta-ra, touchy bye. Good afternoon. Hold on, let me just move that up a bit so you can see it better. That's it. Right, it is now. I'll get my watch out. Oh, I can't do it. It's out here. Ten past ten in the morning. I'm just coming into Horning. I'll show you in a minute where I am. Uh, I'm just coming round towards the Swan Inn. And uh, the weather has changed. It's uh, quite windy out here. Clouds have come over. So I think there's a possibility I will not be going to Yarmouth today. Um, it's not really a great day to go down there. So let's change around. Let's uh, show you what I can see. There we go. You can see it's rather cloudy today. It's quite busy as well as I'm coming into Horning. But the chances are um, I won't be going to Yarmouth today. There's no point in going to Yarmouth when the weather's like this. Even though it's not raining. I'm not too sure if the weather is going to brighten up later on. But uh, for the rest of the week it's meant to be okay. So maybe I could take a trip another day. And as you know, when you're on the broads, so many things change. One minute you're doing this, then you're doing that. And that's, uh, as I say, the beauty of the broads. So, I'll let you know where I'm going on. Uh, what's happening later. Tatty bye. Here I am. As the weather's got a bit naff, I've decided that I'm not going to go to Yarmouth today. But I thought I'd pop and say hello to St Bennett's Abbey again. Something I haven't been to for the last couple of trips, I think. So there it is over there. Remember this boat? Brinks Duet. Oh, it's number two, sorry. It was number three. I used to hire number three, didn't I? So, I'm going to take a little walk into St. Bennett's Abbey, and I thought I'd take you with me. So, let's just have a little walk up here. I'll film a little bit more when we get there. Tutty bye. So, here we go. I'm sure you've all been before if you come to the Broads, but if you haven't, this will be the entrance into the Abbey. Here we go. How many times have we, have we all been in here, people who come to the broads? There's the top there. It's kind of spiritual in here, isn't it? Still got the face there. Yes, there's the... Can you find that creepy face? There it is, right there. The face of the Abbey. It's lovely. Hello everyone. Oh, isn't it nice in here? <sighs> I've got to check 
find out where my uh, signatures have been when I've come here with my kids a few years ago. Quite dreamy in here, isn't it? I've done a lot of prayers in here, like bits and bobs, but nothing's ever happened. Come on. Okay. Little bits and little bits and pieces of vlogs, isn't it? On this on the doing it with my phone. Why spend hundreds on a GoPro when I can use my phone anyway? Okay. Speak to you later. Tatty bye. Good afternoon. Yes, I'm back again. You'll never guess what's happened. Can you guess? I'll give you a few seconds to guess. No, nope, you haven't guessed. I'm going to Yarmouth. Even though I said I wasn't, I am. I'm going back to Yarmouth. The weather's turned out much better than what it was this morning. Still quite cloudy. Sunshine. But I am going off to Yarmouth. Because logistically, it will make more sense for me to go down to Yarmouth than I can come back and play around the Northern Rivers. Not going south this time. I think I'm going to have a 10 day holiday if I can and then I'll go south. But at the moment, it's not worth it. So, off to Yarmouth I go. I'll do some vlogs when I'm down there, okay? I'll give you a little bit of the view, what I can see. There we are. So, those of you who know where I am, I'm here. And those of you who don't, I'm here. Just past Upton Dyke and over in the distance, I can see the bridge, where the bridge in is, where we're going to moor up. Okay. I shall be back with you very shortly, Tati bye. So where am I boys and girls, fans of me? I am at the Bridge Inn in Acle. Why am I here? Well, I have moored up right at the back over there, next to the Dunes Cath, and I'm going to walk into Acle and get a bus into Yarmouth, which saves all the cruising for another four hours that way. I can come back and I'm not far from the rest of the rivers up the northern parts which is really good so I thought that's a really good idea and it's definitely something different from Boaty Man so it's a new adventure for me a bus ride from Agal to Great Yarmouth who would ever thought I'd do that I'll try and film a little bit on the bus let's go to Agal Tutty Bar so as you just come over the bridge, we've got this sign here which says footpath to the bridge, the village shall I say, because you can't walk down this main road. So let's have a walk. This is interesting, so if ever you want to come to uh, Great Yarmouth, you don't want to travel on your boat through the no man's land, past Stokesby, past, um, what's the other place called with the horses? I've forgotten its name now. I'm having a brain wave. Um, Stracy Arms, that's it. We can come down here and have this walk by the side of the road it takes you all the way into Acle. Well, I'm not going to video the whole lot it's about it's about a 20 minute walk I think but go through some little nooks and crannies and keeps you off the main road that's really nice I'll let you watch a little bit more of this and then um, I shall go and film once I get into the, the village not too bumpy for you. Wow, you see the path goes on and on and on. This is interesting. What a nice adventure. Tutty bye. Oh my God. I've just walked for miles. I'm just in the village of Acle, coming to the place where I'm meant to be getting the bus. I'm absolutely knackered. It's warm. It's lovely. Now coming in to the town of Acle. Oh my god. Nice walk. But, oh, it's long. <laughs> Couple of miles, that's all, but it's still a long walk. For me anyway. So what I'll do is I'll just quickly turn around and show you where I'm walking to. <sighs> there we go. Look at that. The village of Acle. There's a few houses for sale here, so if anyone wants to buy, 
Get online and have a look. Oh. <laughs> Alright, I'll find the bus stop and I'll come back to you shortly. Flutty bye from a very tired boaty man. Okay, I finally made it to the bus stop and here we are. There is the bus stop and the bus I'm going to be getting is the X1 daily service Acle to Great Yarmouth. That's going to take all of 20 minutes I think. So, this is your village of Acle. Nine miles to Great Yarmouth. There's your little village. There's your village clock. Here we are. Okay. Right, got to wear the hat. Oh, I'm now going to have a rest. Touchy bye. Boaty man is on the bus at last, on the way to Yarmouth. Who'd ever thought that I'd be doing this? So, I'm going to have a little bit of a look at the view. Sitting at the top, right at the very front. It's actually very warm, but then again I am very knackered. So, look at this, this is the road all the way to Yarmouth. Okay, I shall uh, carry on with today's adventure once I get to Yarmouth. Tutty bye everyone. Well, I've made it to Great Yarmouth. There's the bus. Got music playing up in the background. Let's go down to the beach. I'm back again. Oh yeah, we'll walk down there where it says... I'll walk down this. Yeah, that's it. fish -olicious. Okay, someone's dancing there as well, excellent. Hey, bit of a uh, ska music, I think this. Okay, see you later, touchy bye. Well, I've made it, back in Yarmouth again. There you go, look, the same people here. Jim Davidson's coming here, Jimmy Carr. That's Shawadi Wadi, yep. Roy Chubby Brown, I've seen him. Anyone seen Roy Chubby, Dr Chubby Brown? If you wanna be completely done in by rudeness. He's the one, but I think he's great actually. I like Roy Chubby Brown. Actually, I like Jimmy Carr, I like Jim Davidson. The Elvis World Tour. Queen and Sarah Milligan. Here we are again. Look at that, nice bikes, I love it here. And it's a nice day. Fun fair's going on down the road there. Very nice. I'm gonna go and get something to eat. Here I am. I'm gonna get something to eat. I'm gonna have an ice cream, maybe some fish and chips. What a lovely day. Back in Yarmouth. Let's have another look. Here we go. Crossing the road now. There's the pier. Do you think OG men should go on the toy land there? What do you reckon? It's called Joyland actually. I remember I had fish and chips up here last time and it was really nice, so I'm going to go back there again. See if I can do, have any more fish and chips. There we go. All the stars are here again. Look at that. Maybe all glammed up will be here. Who knows? Touchy bye. Okay, here I am now on the beach. It's turned out really beautiful. Just had some fish and chips in the same place I had it last time. And it was lovely. I had one Savoy with it, which wasn't too great, but um, otherwise, it's good fun here. Let's have a look at the pier. Here we go. Remember I was here in October? I had a great day in October, didn't I, as well? Very nice. So I might just sit on the, the beach. See if I can get a bit of a, a tan. Hey, I am here yeah, to see if I can have a bit of a tan and um, have fun on the beach here at Great Yarmouth. What an adventure today, eh? Very different. Moored at Acle near Dunes on the bus all the way to Yarmouth. Tomorrow, who knows? I'm going to try and have a look at Ramworth. 
I know you've got to pay, haven't you, now to get to Ramworth. But I'll go there, see what it's like. Let me go for a walk. It's a beautiful day here. I'll let you have another look. Oh, that's beautiful. I always say beautiful, don't I, about 300 times. I apologise for that. <coughs> Okay, I'm going to sign off now. I'm going to have a little walk, then I'll head back to the bus station, get the bus, back to Akel, and then another walk through the bushes back to the Mati. Tati by everyone from Great Harmony. Like we're having an ice cream now. You can't get away from an ice cream from Batty Man. Tati by. Well, afternoon now. Been to the beach, as you know. Have you looked behind me? You can see that all of a sudden the clouds come over and it has become quite dull it looks like it's going to be rain in the distance I can see uh, dark clouds so it's back up the old shopping area some people might know it as tacky I'll just change the screen you can have a look at it there we are all up here all the shops selling loads of stuff cheap not really expensive and uh then i'm going to uh, get on the bus have that horrible walk back but it was a nice walk really back to the boat and then i'm just going to crash out because the old git inside me says you're knackered but it's been a good adventure so far tomorrow i think it's possibly a trip to ramworth see if i can get on i've only got to pay now a trip to ramworth and then, who knows where it takes me. Okay, that's it for now. Boaty man, tired, having a great day in Great Armouth, getting the bus back home. See you later on, tutty bye. All right, back at the boat, ready to chill. Let's have a long walk from uh, Acle to, back to the Acle Bridge here. So, I'm going to have a rest now. I'm shattered. Good walk though, good trip. So if you ever feel like doing it and you don't want to go all the way down to Yarmouth, if you don't want to have that long cruise through the no man's land all the way down to Yarmouth, more up at Acle. I'm on the side where the Dunes Caf is. I'll just show you. I'm at the very end. Dunes Caf is just down there. And then you've got the bridge there. Bridge in is over the road. So if you ever feel like doing that, come here, go over the bridge, that way and then there's a which I showed you before you can go on that it's about a mile and a half into Acle near an old pub called the King's Head I think it's called which isn't working anymore it's closed and uh, there's a bus stop outside and I showed you the timetable before so we get that takes you straight in it was only two pounds four pound return so get a bus straight in there and then come back have the walk back, saves you that long, long cruise down to Yarmouth. So from here in the morning, I'm ready to turn the boat around, shoot back up towards Womack, nice and easy. So it was good. Right, so that's uh, day day three coming to an end. I shall continue the adventure tomorrow. So from Man, day three, Sunday, May the 21st, 2023, I bid you farewell. Until tomorrow. Tati bye. Good morning. Day number four, Monday, 22nd of May, 2023. I'm now off to the Dunes Caf. I've never been there before, so I'm going to go there, have some breakfast. Then it's uh, cruising down to. Um, look. Then it's cruising down to Ramworth. Then. I know you've got to pay at Ramworth, haven't you? So uh, I'll see what it's like. I'll get into Ramworth, hopefully. Have a little walk around there like I normally do. Then I think it's just chill there for a little bit. Then possibly off to Womack Dyke. Might go to the Fern Inn tonight for some food. I don't know. Where does the wind take me? Anyway, it's been a very, uh, very nice day today. Again, sunshine, a little bit windy, but it's not freezing cold at all, actually. It's really nice. So. Having a nice time at the moment. If I look like I'm squinting, I'm trying to see what I'm looking at on my video. It's not easy. Okay. Till later. Tutty bye. 
Good afternoon. I'm now at Ramworth. I managed to get into Ramworth. Of course, as you know, there now is a mooring fee, which uh, I'm not very happy about, but I'm going to have to pay that now, given the name of my boat and the registration number of the boat. And then I shall go off for a little walk around Ramworth, go to the shop, walk to the church. I might go on the little boardwalk, um, which is nice. I haven't done that for ages. Let's just have a look. I can't tell that yet. Yeah. You can see that the sun is now starting to come out. Uh, it's looking quite promising for this afternoon. Let's just go off the boat. Oh! And these are the mooring fees now, which I'm sure you all know about. I'm not overnighting here, I'm going to go off to Womack but £5 just to stay here till 5pm. I think there's a lot of ruckus going on about this and people are trying to find out if this is actually legal to do. So, I'm going to go and get the number, I'm going to go and pay for my boat and I'm going to go off for a walk. So, tatty bye, see you soon. Okay, I've just paid my mooring there's my receipt there you can see it okay and apparently the lady said that it's to, to go towards keeping the site neat and tidy because they've had a lot of uh, madness going on here apparently and also for the water but then the water was oh no you had to put money didn't you last time yeah so it's water and to try and keep the place neat and tidy so there we are Ramworth pay to more I'll speak to you later. Touchy bye. Right, I'm at the Ramworth Nature Walk now. As you can see behind me, the sun's come out. It's looking nice now. Um, this morning was pretty rough and cold and even a very slight bit of drizzle on the boat. But anyway, I'm going to film this for you and I'm going to walk at super speed because I'm fit. Touchy bye. It was a fast walk. Oh, too bad it's tired. Anyway, I'm going to go into this house now and have a look and then take a slower walk back. Tatty bye. By the way, I don't know who those people are who got in front, but uh, they're part of the Boaty Man vlog now. Tatty bye. Little ducks having fun in a little part of the world where no boats are allowed. This is a new little kind of shed they've got on the Ramworth boardwalk. I'm sitting in a, in a hut now, here's the hut, and just thought I'd show you some of the wildlife through the hut door, they're lovely, lots of little baby ducks playing before but they've swum up that part of the river now, let me zoom out a bit, there we are. And the, look at the weather, it's become gorgeous again. There we are. Tutty bye. Now, I've come out of the boardwalk. Um, normally I turn left, go back towards the village, but I've turned right and gone up a lovely little side road and there's the church there. And I'm gonna walk up to the church from a, a different way. Which I've never been before. That's a lovely little walk. And now the sun's come out, it's gorgeous. All the green is in foliage now. Everything's out because the summer is here. The smells are delicious. I wish I could do smelly vlog, but I can't. That'd be lovely. There it is there. Wow. I've been up there many times, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, but I've uh, given up on that now. Getting older, a little bit fatter. Knees are giving up a little bit. God, I'm sounding like decrepit. Not that bad, but 
I've just kind of given up going up those 81 uneven steps to the top of the tower because I've done it many many times and it is a lovely view up there isn't it it really is nice so just at the top of this road turn left and then go to the entrance of the church how lovely is that tutty by boaty man in the church there's my name I've signed in you now know where I live but you don't know the super residence I live in that's private that's my address thank you very much tutty by I'm now sitting in St Helen's Church in Ramworth messy hair you just saw me uh, sign the book it's always a lovely place here I refuse to go upstairs though as I'm I've done it many times before but it's a beautiful church and I'll just turn it around you can see the lady over there in the corner they're lovely in here it's peaceful very peaceful time to think I'll leave you from here speak to you soon tutty bye well, after that nice walk all the way from the, uh, the church, I'm at the Molsters. Nice ice cold Copperberg mixed fruits. So I shall leave you here at the moment, give you a toast to happiness, health and wealth. And um, well, we're going to go off to Womack after this I reckon, so cheers. Beautiful. Speak to you later, tutty boy. Good afternoon, everyone. Yes, I've moored at Womack Stave. Having a little walk now from the boat into the little village itself. Here is Little Holland. Massive house. There's the sign there. I did this uh, vlog, didn't I, last October, I think. So I'm going to have a little walk into the town. See if there's anything I want to get out it, but we'll see. And uh, yeah, it was very windy, very, very windy as I was cruising up here. But it's not cold. Um, we can see the trees playing around a little bit now. Sorry about the road. Uh, so, nice garden there, that garden there. Look. That beautiful. So oh, I'm going to walk around here, go into the village, have a little look around and then go back to the boaty and then it's going to be an evening of TV and a bit of iPad stuff I expect. But I will come back to you later and give you a farewell for day number four. So see you later, tutty bye. Well that's day number four finished here at Womack Stave. Had a nice walk, got onto Ramworth before. Um, just come back, or before I came back from the little village of Ludham. Which was nice, nice little walk. Getting a good tan, starting to peel, got putting some moisturizer on. And uh, where will day five take me? Well, I think it's gonna take me back up the Ant under Ludham Bridge and possibly at night in Gaze, Stade or Neatstead. But as you know, things can change. So I'll let you know tomorrow. So everybody, tutty bye. Speak to you tomorrow. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. <coughs> well, after the boat review, um, a couple of things I didn't show you where the uh, 24 volt plug sockets are. Um, if you look at the vlog, it's one's behind the microwave and one's actually in the kitchen area. And the button to turn it on is right by the helm, downstairs helm. Anyway, I'm sitting upstairs. Lovely sunny day, still a little bit windy. I've just left Womack Dyke. I've gone round the little Womack Island. I've got Little Holland on my left. Let's just show you Little Holland. Anyone who comes here, we all know about Little Holland. Beautiful house, massive gardens, front and back. 
you want to buy it, you can't because it's not up for sale. So, I'm heading out now. Oh, let's put it down. I hope you can see okay. It's hard for me to see what you can see at the moment because the sun's quite bright, but I'm sure you'll be able to see okay. So, heading down towards the River, river Fern. Um, then I'm going to turn right instead of going to Potterheim, which is on your left. I'm going to turn right and then I'm going to head down through uh, up the River Ant up towards Ludham, Ludham Bridge. And most probably, if I can, stop there, get some water. And then it's up to more of the northern parts, really, for the last couple of days up there. That should be not massive amounts of cruising. Because of the NBN meet, you know, I haven't got time to go all over the place, but it's still fun and games for Boaty Man. Let's just hold this up here. The cows over there. The cows are the sheep. <laughs> Excuse me for being so stupid. <coughs> Excuse the cough. Okay, I'll come back a little later. Tutty bye. Good afternoon, everybody. Well, I am now on the River Ant. I am on the top of deck of the boat. Just stopped off at Ludden Bridge, emptied some rubbish, put some water in the boaty, and now I'm heading up towards Hell Hill. Now, you might think, why am I dressed up like I'm in the Antarctic? Thing is, it is warm, and the sun is beautiful, but there is a really horrible chilly wind here and it is ugh, making me do that so I'm wrapping up warm until this wind decides to die down anyway I've got a couple of shout outs to do which I promised I will do now first of all if you're a footy fan you might want to switch off not going to go on for too long though uh, I've got my very good friend Ray Hibbard who's a Sheffield Wednesday supporter by the time you see this Sheffield Wednesday might have been promoted to the championship. Um, what a great comeback they've done. So if they are brilliant, if not, I'll be coming to see you with my local team, Stevenage, next season. And I want to say hello to his lovely wife, Tina, who I know hasn't been too well and still suffers quite a lot. So I really wish her well. Oh, I'm wobbling around a bit, all right. I'm going to send her. I don't know why I'm wobbling around, sorry about that. I'm going to send us some Boaty Man love. Yeah, Boaty Man love. So, wish you well. And um, let's see what happens to Sheffield Wednesday. Whatever happens, I'll be coming to Sheffield next year, Ray. The Spurs will be up there, even though they've been absolutely rubbish this season. So, let's give a mission to a couple of good friends of mine, Sam and Graham. They could have been on the balls this week, but they're not. So hello to them, and I'm awesome cook, my friend. And uh, all the others who, vloggers who follow me, um, I'm in the middle of watching uh, Dave Whitworth's vlogs. Brilliant. I've seen his boat lightning, and I've seen Silver Cloud today. They're going around. So it's uh, fairly busy on the balls. Anyway, let me show you what I can see. Where's me button? There we go two boats in front nothing behind up to Howe Hill okay that's it for now speak to you later tatty bye good afternoon from a most beautiful Tuesday afternoon at Howe Hill look at this weather it's turned out to be the most amazing day wind has died down now it's gorgeous so, I've been attacked by a swan whilst I've been sitting here. I sat on the back of the boat, put my feet over the edge and the swan decided to attack my trainers for some reason. When it realised they didn't taste very nice, it went away. So here we are at beautiful Howe Hill. There's a house up there. I might take a walk up there shortly, but otherwise I could even stay here the night. I, was gonna, I just want to sunbathe and get a nice suntan. This is wonderful. What a lovely day.
so here I am okay boys and girls hope you enjoy my vlogs and I'm going to continue to sit down and enjoy the rest of my afternoon here at Howe Hill. If I move on anywhere, of course I'll take you with me. If I go for a walk up to the house or through the gardens here, I'll take you with me as well. So in the meantime, I'm going to lie down on top of the boat, get a bit of suntan, so I look extremely cool when I come back. And I will speak to you all soon. Tutty bye everyone. Good evening everyone from an extremely brown boaty man. Weather has been unbelievable. I've been sunbathing. I'm still at Howe Hill. I'm going to stay here for the night. And I'm just going to sit on top of the boat and look at the stars. How's that? I keep looking over there, but I need to look there. That's where the camera is. And I am very brown, as you can see. If I take my glass off, look at the top of my nose. I look like a panda bear. It's wonderful. Weather has been amazing. I'll just show you. Oh. Here's the sun. Uh, and that's, uh, that's the boat all morning up tonight at Howe Hill. Absolutely amazing day. So I'm going to stay here for the night. Why not? Tomorrow I'm going to go up to up towards Barton Broad and then I'm going to have a little look around in East Head, Barton Turf, maybe go up to Wayford. I think I'll be doing that. So, till then, tatty bye from Boaty Man. End of day five. Speak to you at day six. Might come back later on. I'm going to be looking at the stars later on. Apparently Jupiter, oh not Jupiter, Saturn, oh my God. Apparently Venus, Mars and the Moon are going to be clearly visible tonight. I'm going to look out for the space station as well. How's that? Okay, tutty bye. Speak to you tomorrow. End of day five. Ta-ra. Good morning. Can you believe it is day six already? Wednesday the 24th of May 2023. And here I am at Howe Hill. Again, on a lovely, beautiful morning. It's gonna be a warm day today. I mean, look at me, I've already got brown bit burnt on the head. So that's, uh, that's good. I wanna go back looking brown. Anyway, so on the agenda today is not much. I'm not gonna do loads of cruising anymore. Now I've got to stay and tomorrow and going home Friday morning. I'm going to go from here, have a nice cruise from Howe Hill all the way up through Ersted, through Barton Broad. I'm going to go up towards Wayford. I can't go any further than Wayford because the boat won't go under Wayford Bridge. So I'll do that. Then I will turn around and come back. Most probably go to Neatis Head tonight. Might stop in the middle of the Broad just to get a bit of sunbathing in. And uh, that will be it for today. I can't think of anything else I'm going to do. Tomorrow I could take a nice long trip down to Roxham possible um, and then just cruise back again I don't know but it's not going to be lots of cruising for the next couple of days now as the weather's going to be so nice it's going to be cruising and sunbathing yes I can get more brun I'd love to get brun even though I've got a sore head <laughs> okay that's it for now Boaty Man signing out Speak to you later on my travels on the boards. Tutty bye. Good morning again. Well, as you can see, if you know where I am, I'm at Ersted and going through this wonderful little village of Ersted with the lovely houses by the river. I'll just let you enjoy this view without me blabbering on too much. can see it's another gorgeous day. Couldn't have wished for better weather apart from the wind. The wind is a little bit, sometimes can be a bit chilly, but it's not too bad today. Look at this house here. I put a fiver down on it many years ago, but I've had no success in buying it. Never mind.
went in that church some years ago on a vlog. Did a vlog in that church. Had a nice walk around the back streets there. It was lovely. Good afternoon everyone. Well as you can see behind me in the distance is Barton Turf. That's where I've just stopped to put some water in. I'm now heading up towards Wayford and I will uh, video some of the scenery up in Wayford. If you look behind you can see Paddy's Lane on the left. I'm going to be mooring there tomorrow night and then I can get off to Richardson's early Friday morning, very early actually, because I want to leave early. So, at the moment, it's all going nice, having a lovely rest and a lovely break. Speak to you soon as we head up towards Wayford. Tutty bye. Just thought I'd put a little bit of recording of the top half of the ant heading towards Wayford, because as we just go round this bend, Come to that beautiful property, Handset Mill, which again I've been told is owned by Amanda Holden, but we don't know yet. I've never had exact proof of it. But as we come round here, there it is. Windmill. Lovely little property in the middle of nowhere. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Nice bit of river footage and footage of this lovely mill. I continue round the left bend up towards Wayford. Okay, bye. Good afternoon everybody. Well, after that lovely cruise, I've cruised to Neatshead. That was absolutely full up. And so I've come to, you should know it, Gaze Staith. So I'm here now for the uh, good few hours, I reckon. More sun, try and get browner, if I can. I'm already burning a little bit of my head. Uh, I've got this kind of thickish cardigan on, not that thick really because it has been quite windy uh, in certain parts of the rivers but I'm going to take this off now, lie down, I've got a lovely little area here where I'm going to lie down and uh, have a chill. Anyway, let's just turn you around so you can have a look at the other the gay staith, only a, a couple of other boats here, that's all. Weather's tremendous. I mean, we've had so much rain, haven't we, lately? And I have really, really done well choosing this week. Okay, touchy bye, everyone. Speak to you later. Well, that's it for day six. Not a load going on. I'm now wild moored in between Ersted and Howe Hill. I'll just check out up there is. About a mile up there is Hell Hill. And about half a mile around there is Ersted. And I've got a little friend come to see me. This is Monty the Swan. He's come for some food. So I end day six here on a wild mooring. Tomorrow I think I will head past Ludham, most probably have a cruise to Wroxham, then come all the way back up Ludham, up towards um, Richardson's and more at Barton Turf the night, tomorrow night, it's the last night. Leave early, so I'm back at Richardson's nice and early. 
and uh, or even go back to Richmond tomorrow. I don't know. I'll see what happens. Otherwise, that's it. So uh, until tomorrow, which will be the last day, day seven, I bid you farewell. God bless. Be healthy and happy. And I hope you all have a lovely evening. Okay. Till tomorrow, tutty bye. Good morning, everyone. Day seven, last day of the holiday. A sad day, but as you can see, I'm still cruising down the river. It's just gone under Ludden Bridge, heading south. I'm going to go to South Walsham, have some breakfast there, and uh, have a little doodle around, and then come back through Ludden Bridge. I shall try and film that when I next come back. Weather today is not as nice. It's pretty cloudy, not freezing out, but still got that kind of chilly wind. Uh, yeah, very cloudy. It meant to brighten up later on, but I've got my tan, so I'm well happy with that. So, I don't know if you heard that guy say to me, can I get under the bridge? I just said yes, and if you couldn't, well, so what? <laughs> Nasty man. That's me, rather. No, it's, just, it's a laugh. It's a laugh. Okay, well, nothing much happening today really, just the rundown of the holiday. Going to be more in at Barton Turf tonight. So I'll come back to you later, touch by. Good afternoon. Now I'm heading back north, been to South Walsham, stayed there for some time because I was tired and had a little sleep. Had some brekkie and now heading back north. That's where we're going to stop at Owl Hill and have a walk at Owl Hill. But I'm approaching Ludden Bridge, as you can see. So I'm going to take you with me on this trip under the bridge. Now this boat is quite high, so I'm going to have to duck, otherwise I'll be beheaded. And I don't think my kids would like that very much. So I thought I'd film this. And I'll take him under the bridge with me. Weather's not as good as yesterday, that's for sure. It's not freezing cold, but there is a chilly wind and it is extremely cloudy. But I have my tan, which will make everyone jealous when I get home. So, let's see. It's a pretty tight squeeze with this boat. How many times have you people watching this vlog been under this bridge? All right, let's go around, let's see. Yeah, we will definitely get under it, but it's going to be a drop your head down job. Otherwise, otherwise I won't be alive by the time I get to the other side. So here we go. I do talk rubbish, don't I? Making it nice and easy. You'll see by the camera how high it is. I reckon there's at least about just a foot under here. So here we go. I'm about to duck. Now, ha ah, ha ha, quickly get down. I'm down. Oh my god. I'm bending right over at 90 degrees. And now I'm sitting up, we made it. <sighs> Me and my boat. Well, okay. That's it for now. Speak to you later. Tati bye. Just thought I'd film this a little bit. I don't know if you noticed, but. At Lutton Bridge, they've closed most of this side of the moorings, which is the left side heading north. Um, and they've been, uh, looks like, redoing it all. Put some nice asphalt down, whatever they call it. New posts up. So, 
I should be opening it soon, I would have thought by the look of it. Anyway, tatty bye. Good afternoon. Well, I have stopped off at Howe Hill. And here I'm now going to have a walk up the hill through the secret garden to the cottage. Possibly get myself an ice cream. And go up to the house. Have a look at the house. Why not? So, you can see the sun has come out. Very, very nice indeed. So, let's have a little walk up towards the cottage. Well, I'm walking around Howe Hill. I wanted to go up into the house, into the gardens in the house. And uh, unfortunately, I spin it around. You can't get in there. There's a sign down the end which says, gardens closed. I assume because the school is open. There are children in there, I'm not sure. But um, can't go in the gardens, have a walk. But at least the sun's come out and it's really lovely. And my boat is somewhere down there. Okay. I shall leave you here on day number seven. There's not going to be a great deal of vlogging going on today. Never is really on the final day, is there? But I hope you uh, have been enjoying my May 2023 adventure on the Broads, in, incorporating the Norfolk Broads Network meeting. Okay, speak to you soon. Tati bye. I've decided to have a walk up near Howe Hill House to the Secret Gardens. But how I got here, I can't tell you, because it's a secret. So I'm going to go in the gardens now and walk through the secret gardens. Oh, that noise. The secret gardens. Where's it taken us today? Have you ever been here before, anyone? I came here ooh, five, six years ago with my kids and uh, from what I remember it was quite nice. But at the moment it's well overgrown isn't it with foliage, sunshine is out and it's a lovely afternoon. Okay, I'm going to walk in the secret garden. See you later, tatty bye. Well, when I was speaking before, I was actually in the woods, which took you to the secret garden, and I've just arrived here. Isn't this pretty? Looks lovely, doesn't it? I'm going to have a little walk through the secret garden. I might do a little bit more vlogging whilst I'm walking through the secret garden. It's lovely. Tatty bye. So, continuing my little walk in the secret garden, over the little bridge. Look at these beautiful rhododendrons. They're nice. We have a nice little, little pond. There's loads of little nooks and crannies here to go for a walk. One over there. Wow. So it's something worth uh, visiting when you next come to the Broads. Howe Hill and its secret garden. I actually thought I'd been here before, but I haven't. I went through the other gardens by the side of Howe Hill. So this is the first time for me. Oh, lovely. Tutty bye. Now, as I'm coming across Barton Broad, on my left is that little island. There's a little secret entrance to another secret mooring place. Unfortunately, I forgot the name of it. I'm going to go down there and show you it. 
then once I can remember the name, I will let you into a secret as to what it's called. But look, we're turning off now. Straight up ahead is Barton Turf. We're going to go down this little secret area here. And it takes you into a place where there's only a place for one more. You can only moor one boat there, as I say. And it's quite a small, looks like about a 28 foot boat can go there. I'm not going to moor there though. I'm just going to go down here and show you it. So as you're looking to the left, it goes up to Salem, Mark Turf. Behind you now is off to Neat's Head, Gate Stave. It's a very small little area here. So I'm just going to slow it down a bit because it's very jiggy down here. It's very narrow as well. Uh, there's a private mooring down here. many people know about this. <clears throat> Just around this bend. Look, come into another little secret mooring. And the mooring is up here on the right. And that's a free mooring there, look at that. If I get the name on there, I'll tell you what this thing's called. Wood End Stay, that's the one. So we could theoretically moor there. There we are, another secret area from Boaty Man. Okay, I'm going to turn off, turn the boat around, and come back home, or go back to Barnsworth. for Tutty Bye. So, that's it, back at Barton Turf. Filled the boat up with water, ready to go back to Richardson's first thing in the morning. The weather has turned out to be spectacular this week. And uh, the only problem has been is wind. There's been quite a bit of wind, which has been quite chilly. And it's taken the pressure off the heat. But I've still got a good tan. And uh, I'm gonna to continue to get the afternoon sunshine, finish off my tanning, and then uh, I shall settle down for the night and go back to Britishers in the morning. Um, the only thing about the boat which I didn't mention is that there is no handbook on the boat. And it does say there should be. And also there are no certain cooking utensils like mixers, uh, stirrers, um, mashed potato mashers and things like that. They're not on the boat. All they have was knives and forks. I wonder if that's a mistake by them. I'm going to leave a note and let them know. So everyone, well I hope you've enjoyed my week's adventure. Please let me know in the comments if you want me to answer any questions about this trip let me know in the comments as well. Um, if you are interested in the bog roll men, I do have them, but I haven't really featured them this time. So, that, all for me to say now is really thank you very much for following me. Please subscribe if you haven't. It, it does help my viewing figures and likes as well, which is good. And then I will do more and more vlogs for you. So, until next time, I haven't got a date yet where I'm going to be back on the boat broads again. Um, hopefully, <laughs> as soon as I can, but it's rather expensive. But I um, hope you enjoy this vlog. Thank you very much for watching. Boaty Man wishes you peace, health and happiness. Tutty bye. Till next time.